Six pro reefers, six different backgrounds, all try and set up lights without a par meter. But can the human eye even measure par? And will the answer change the trajectory or success rates of our reef tanks? That's coming up. A par meter used to be cost preventative, but now you can use them for two months and return them when you're done. But is it worth doing? Are humans able to guess par close enough without one? Today, we put that to the test. They're widely agreed on par rangers that produce consistently great color, faster growth, and much lower mortality rates. Hitting those sweet spot par ranges largely means lighting will never be the reason that you don't have an awesome tank. But it also means the further we are from those ranges, the lower the success rates will be. It's just a numbers game. What you're about to see is experience does help the guessing process, but a vast majority of us are going to miss these high success rate par pockets. This isn't an opinion, but actually founded on the anatomy of the human eye and something you'll see in just a moment. First question, test what the scope of the problem is. Are we guessing off by 20% or 200? Once you understand how the human eye works, you'll see why the results are what they are. And then the second experiment, what happens when we give six experienced reefers references and control the light to guide the setup process within that ideal LPS and SPS range? Our test environment, the 750 from the WWC Hybrid Method series, which has four Radeon G5 XR30s and diffusers over it. Our team of six test subjects includes Jason, who's produced one of the most impressive SPS Zeofit tanks here at the office, Jen, who's been setting up tanks and running an LFS for decades, Brent, who's the one who's performed the PAR testing in every single Beers TV Investigates for years, probably not a single person has more PAR readings and interpretations under their belt than Brent. Mark, one of the best and most experienced customer service agents with one of the most impressive tanks in the office. Josh, who cares for every last Beerus TV tank from the Beerus 160 to the E170 and the WWC 750. In fact, the guy who set up these very lights on the 750 using a PAR meter in the past, and Adam, head of the Ask BRS Facebook group, has a solid tank here and one featured on Beerus TV at home as well. This team of six should represent some of the best guessers out there. This first test is simple. We made them go in the other room while we set the lights up to a deep blue or 20K setting, a wider 10K look, and the middle of the road AB plus setting. We did it both at 25% intensity as well as 100. Walk in the room and guess the par in the center of the tank where the par meter sensor is to the best of your ability. Sound difficult? Yep, because it is. Starting with 25% intensity or guessing lower par ranges set to the 10K setting, the actual par was 70. Brent and Josh were the only ones that guessed within 20% of that. Jason, Jen, and Mark, three to five times that, a pretty wild variation. Now shift to that 20K darker blue look, but still 25% intensity, which is 85 par. Note the dark blue color looks much less bright, but is actually 10 points higher par. Brent's the only one that guessed within 20%. Jason, Jen, and Mark, again, guessing really high. Now at AB plus and 25% intensity or that middle of the road color and 115 par at the measurement point, exact same results. Brent's the only one who guessed, everyone else is guessing high. Now the exact same thing, except we crank the lights up to 100% and the par is much higher. At 10K, 100%, the intensity of the par is 240. Josh is the only one within 20%, everyone else higher. However, notice that Jason perceived 100% as the same as 25. Now the dark blue 20K 100%, which is 280 par, Brent and Jason hit it, but Josh's eye is tricked by that dark blue light, which is higher par but lower brightness, and only guessed 150 par. Now set to that AB plus setting and 100% intensity and a 370 par measurement, everyone got much closer. Jason, Jen, and Adam hitting it, Brent and Mark super close, and Josh is under. Jason guessed two of six right, Jen got only one, Brent got four of six, Mark got zero right, Josh two, and Adam just one in six. All in all, this team guessed only 10 of 36 measurement points. The guesses were particularly hard for the LPS zone. Almost all the wrong guesses were way too high, meaning they thought the tank was much higher par than it really was. Josh is the only one who guessed low. So why did they all do so poorly? Even the best being Brent, who literally measures par for a living, only got 66% or four out of six. Two answers. One, they had no reference point. It'd be a lot easier if they were setting the LED sliders and could see the intensity scale varying along with the brightness and the percentage. We'll do that in just a moment and see totally different results, but probably not what you think. But the real answer of why this is so hard is the anatomy of the human eye. The eye is a terrible tool for measuring both brightness and par for two reasons. 
First, our human eye, it has an iris, like a camera, which opens and closes based on brightness. The collared part of your eye is essentially a curtain, which reacts to brightness, opens when it's dark to let more light in, and closes when it's bright to limit the light, basically allowing us to see in a wide variety of environments from midday all the way to moonlit. Simply put, that means our eyes just automatically adjust to whatever brightness is and attempts to make it all look the same. Gross differences of two to three or four times the light will look somewhat different, but it's the iris function of our eyes that makes it incredibly difficult to measure anything accurately. Demonstrated by today's results where Jason, Jen, and Mark saw 25 and 100% intensity, similarly, when we made them leave the room between each guest and their eyes had to adjust the iris each time. Second is the eye doesn't treat all light equally. You may have heard that a whiter tank often looks brighter than a blue tank, but it's the blue tank that's often higher in par, and this is absolutely true. For instance, with our 100% intensity test, the darker 20K tank is higher par than the 10K white tank, but nearly everyone guessed the opposite, that the 10K white tank was higher par. On top of that, these six guessers are experienced reefers, and all six testers are fully aware that bluer tanks are almost always much higher par than they seem, and their guesses were accounting for that. The disparity would be much worse if they were newer to the hobby or only tuned a couple lights in the past and didn't know. This is the anatomy of why high par but bluer tanks can look visually dim. The human retina is lined with light sensing cells known as rods and cones. The cones are color sensing cells of the retina. When light of a specific color enters the eye and strikes the cones, the brain perceives it as color, but not equally. The cones in our eye that are responsible for green and red are just a lot more sensitive to light. This is why those wider 10K tanks look brighter. Our eyes are just a lot more sensitive to that green and red light that makes up the wider 10K look. The conundrum here is the human eye or the blue cones are not very sensitive to blue light, so it may take many times as much blue light for the eye to perceive the same brightness as green or red. Paradoxically, it's also the blue end of the spectrum that's responsible for PAR and providing energy to the corals. Another story is our eyes are designed very poorly to perceive or measure blue light and in turn PAR as well, arguably even worse at attempting to balance PAR or energy needs with a color balance that looks good in the tank as well. So that's next. Can the crew tune these lights once we give them the controls? Similar test, we asked all six to tune these four radions to SPS and LPS ranges in 10K, 20K, and AB plus looks. I will say this should be much easier than the previous test because they all have a good idea of the PAR output of a radion with diffuser, an idea of what percentage intensity the slider should be to get close. It's also impossible to go grossly over because the four radion array is ideal for this tank even at 100%, the PAR was between 240 and 370. This should be a layup for our six testers, but it isn't. Starting with the 10K look and tuning to an LPS range of 75 to 150 par, three of the six, Mark, Josh, and Adam, were able to tune the lights correctly, the rest undertuned. With the 20K LPS range, only Mark got it, most tuning too low, and with the AB+, Jason, Josh, and Adam got it, but all the others missed. All in all, seven of the 18 tunes are only 38% in the LPS pocket of 75 to 150. Next, at 10K light tuned to the SPS zone to 200 to 350. This is a pretty big 150 point range. And again, these lights are installed for an SPS tank. It should be as easy as this task is going to get. But Mark is the only one able to do it. Everyone else over perceives the par with the 10K light and tunes way too low. On the 20K, some of the tunes are higher, but still only three were able to tune it correctly. And with the AB+, the same three were able to tune it correctly again. But across the board, everyone tuned to the low end of the SPS range. So LPS and SPS, the same results, or 38%, or seven of the 18 tunes were able to get into that SPS sweet spot. The tuning winner was easily Mark, who was able to tune five out of six and only missed one by 20 par. This is interesting because Mark was absolutely the worst at visually guessing the par with our first test with zero correct guesses within 20%. He was also notably the least confident in his tunes, but still nailed it. I think part of his success is because he has decades of experience to make an educated guess, but he also didn't try to overthink it. Brent's results, the opposite. Walks up and guesses the par visually, super confidently, and gets four to six right, and very close on the other two he missed. In fact, on the low end of par, 25% intensity, guessing within five par on two of them, and within 10 par on the other, likely a result of Beers TV Investigates and testing par for a living, yet Brent got zero of our six tunes right, and he had the worst performance by far. It's setting up the lights for the intended application. 
After Brent shared that he forgot to calculate that the radians had the diffusers on, he knows that blue light is deceiving, knows what these lights are capable of, and has the most experience, but overthought it in a miscalculation. But even if he'd calculated for that diffuser, he still would have been low on most. Jen, who has probably set up more successful tanks than all of them combined, guessed only one out of six and tuned zero out of six, easily the worst performance. But why? Because she sets up tanks for clients and stores in a professional environment, professionals don't take guesses, they use tools to get consistent, reliable results, in this case, a PAR meter. Josh tunes were also very telling. Keep in mind that he's the one that sets up and tuned all the tanks here at BRS, including this exact setup. He was able to get four out of six right, but even the two he missed were only off by five and 10 par. He was able to apply his experience with this exact tank and all the par measurements he's taken in the past and nail it regardless of color of light. However, I think Jason's guesses and tunes may be the most representative of the average reefer. Jason produced an awesome SPS tank here that all of us would be proud of. However, he's only set up a handful of tanks in his life and not all of them is epic, closer to the average reefer. He wasn't able to walk up and guess the par like Brent. In fact, he guessed 25 and 100% look largely the same when his eye's iris adjusted for brightness and spectrum. With the LPS tuning, he was tricked by the eye's color cones, saw the 10K tank as brighter or higher par than it really was and then tuned low, saw the 20K as darker or lower par than it really was and overcompensated high, but was able to pull off that AB plus zone where it was right in the middle of the road. Meaning experience got him where he needed to go with the average colored tank, but lacked that experience to get it right outside of that. Similar effect in the SPS tunes, with a 10K tune only 105 par when 200 to 350 is the goal. That wider look just looks brighter. He compensated up for the bluer lights and the dimmer look, but still ended up on the lowest of the par range on all of them and just barely making it. So there's an unsaid question here. It's obvious that guessing par is a lower percentage outcome than measuring it, and measuring par is affordable now, but where do these goal par ranges come from? The answer is here. Master par, stop killing corals with these simple steps, and keep your corals alive for years.